We make short films, we make vlogs, and we eat food. If there's anything else to do with life, I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Well, we're here in Long Beach. We're staying in the Belmont Heights area. We've got our Airbnb, so come on in, check it out. We walk up this way. And as you can see, we have a nice little private garden wall. We've got our first Verity sighting of the video. Actually, you were in the intro. <laughs> the second Verity sighting of the video. Let me in, please. Hello and welcome to the front yard, backyard, whatever you want to call it. It's our own private little area. We have the hot tub, that's the first thing you'll see, which we've used and it's been lovely. You can turn on the lights, you can, I don't know, you could probably have a glass of wine in there, although I probably would be able to get out again, so I haven't done that. There's a couple of plants, but generally all of this space is usable. You can store things in it. Well, they store bikes on the stairs that we're allowed to use, which is a lovely addition. Like, so we can cycle down to the beach because it's not far or to the lagoon, which which is just up this way, like five minute, 10 minute walk, even faster on a bike. There is the patio furniture. We've sat out here once and had dinner, which was nice, but there's a barbecue. We haven't used the barbecue yet, so we're gonna have to get some tofu skewers together and show you guys what a barbecue looks like here. And of course, there's the blow up lobster, which we have yet to take in the lagoon or the sea, but we will. I think this week is gonna be the week. We're going in, we're going in the water. There as we go, get a shot of my drying <laughs> bathing oh, suit. Up here we've got some drying towels for when we go to the beach. It's nice to sit up here. The only thing I worry about is Millie being a small dog. Uh, if she's excitedly trying to get me to play with the ball and I'm sat here, she'll try and back up and her little feet will start going through these like this. And I'm like, ho oh. ho ho. You're like, what? Ho oh. <laughs> ho ho. This Airbnb is known as the Pelican's Nest. So we got, we haven't named him yet or her yet. What should we name this Pelican? Let's, I want suggestions in the comments. What's the name of the other Pelican that's not Pelly from Animal Crossing? Like the rude one that works at night. That's what the name should be. This Airbnb doesn't actually have a key it's got this lock pad here. Don't have to carry a key with you, which is very handy, as long as you remember what the code is. I think I do. Get a lock in. And there's a sight. Hello. <laughs> You're such a cute one. Uh, where to start? <laughs> Hello. This is the front closet. Up here on this shelf, we've got, you know, a nice iron, hair dryer, first aid kit, very important. So we put up our hats, some of our shoes are up here, and they even have some of these fun little toys that you can bring with you uh, to the beach, because the beach is just like a 15 minute, 20 minute walk from here. So, hey, why not give them some uh, beach fun stuff? That's a phrase, and I'm going to use it. Some board games in here, uh, lots of uh, bedding, uh, some towels, my camera bag, tons of hangers. So, you know, if you're bringing a lot of clothes for an extended stay like we are, plenty of uh, hangers to hang up your clothes. Of course, you got our ironing board down there. A little bit of a vacuum, a little shark vacuum to clean up the carpet. There's even a window that comes through the closet that looks out into that front porch area. So you got a little bit of natural light in your closet, which is something you don't really get, which is very, very nice. It's something that we're a fan of for sure. Let's continue on. So the closet is to your right as soon as you walk in from the front door. So boom. Well, you never know when you might need that fire extinguisher, especially when we're cooking. Have you seen some of the concoction? Why do you think we go out so often to eat with the food tours? By the way, check out the food tours. We got some cool videos to come out. Welcome to possibly the most relaxed presentation we have ever seen. I'm Verity Van Dams. This is Mildred Hufflepuff. And over here we have Austin's workstation. He's got his laptop, his work mic, and essentially he's converted this dressing table, which is probably intended for like, I don't know, makeup, jewelry, 
uh, but we flipped it around so that Austin has somewhere to work. Right next to the front door, we put up hats. Uh, masks are back in fashion, so we like to keep our masks here so we don't forget them. Dogs harness and the leash, dry some towels, a very convenient spot for some hooks. It is time to check out the bathroom. <laughs> This is our bathroom. Uh, obviously right here we've got our sink, nice little countertop, our soap, and a couple things that were left here for us to use while uh, we're here. We've also of course brought our own stuff, our own toiletries, toothpaste, our toothbrushes. Down below, our makeup bags, some more uh, razors, shaving cream, toilets right there, and the shower. The shower's nice, spacious, with this being a beach community and you living so close to the beach, it's expected that you're gonna be going to the beach. The cool thing is, down below in the shower, there's actually another faucet. It's a little shower for your feet, get the sand off your feet. And also, ooh, I forgot about this. The Airbnb hosts were very kind and they put together this little basket of uh, toiletries and things you might need just in case you forgot anything so we got like toothbrushes uh there's some floss there some toothpaste bug spray very nice and a little postcard have fun plus there's a hidden mickey look at that you know nothing gets me hungrier than being in the bathroom you know so let's check out the kitchen Welcome to the kitchen. It's very compact, very small. And this kitchen is so well equipped. For instance, over there, we've got ourselves, you know, a standard microwave, an air fryer. There's also a toaster oven, not to mention a bunch of like, you know, mugs and cups and wine glasses. Yeah, the decoration and display of this stuff is beautiful. We've kind of uh, taken that, that decorative basket over and we've made it our fruit bowl so we've got oranges apples some bananas of course you go down towards the floor and we've got our little cabinets electric stove some pots and pans a george foreman grill so we've got some bread we've got some nuts we got some of our cooking powders we've got potatoes a watermelon a bunch of stuff to check out in there. So you got this lovely table. You got this nice little wooden dining table, perfect for two people. Heck, it could even sit four. And the view from this little area is fantastic because you have this nice bay window here. Down below that bay window, you got some storage space. Uh, we've been keeping the dog's food there. We don't really put too much like food stuff in there just because the dog, we don't want her to get into it. Also noteworthy about the dog, they don't really usually allow dogs here. Uh, but we actually messaged ahead and explained our situation. Said, okay, if we bring her, she's been good. We brought her to Airbnbs before and they were very nice and they were very welcoming and actually. So just a tip, if you're traveling with the dog, always reach out, you know, beforehand, you know, whether or not you think it's going to be okay or not. I think Airbnb hosts just appreciate it if you give them that heads up. <laughs> But back to the kitchen. Behind me, we have our plates and utensils. They have this nice drying rack, which is just kind of the storage space for the plate. So, which is very nice because once you finish, you know, washing your dishes and everything, you just put them on the drying rack, they're drying off and they're stored in the place where they are usually cut. Of course, we have our fridge. It's very small, you know, per again, perfect for, you know, two people. Two people. Of course, you have your sink space, a nice big sink basin. You go down here. trash and our recycling probably gonna have to toss that out <laughs> just haven't had a chance yet it looks a little full and then here garbage bags some paper towels dish soap another sponge and then the one other notable thing about this area is the sink head itself it's a little weird and they were very upfront about how to use it and how it might be a little bit of an adjustment. You not only have to flip the handle on, but there's actually a sensor right behind the head of the faucet that you have to activate in order to get the water going at all. And uh, thank goodness for the manual where they explain things like that. You got all the information you might need, you know, your Wi-Fi password, some rules of the Airbnb, even uh, a things to do section, you know, kind of a 
curated idea of close activities and events. Very useful. And of course you got a wild verity back there snacking on an apple. Even though it's a teeny tiny space, I like that they break it up from carpet to hard floor to kind of separate the miniature kitchen from the miniature living room. It definitely makes it feel bigger, or at least you've got your designated spaces. <laughs> it's got Millie's though. Millie loves it. If we push this forward, it can fold out into a bed. And we have slept down here a couple of nights, and mm -hmm. it's a perfectly comfortable bed. We have this lovely bamboo. I think it's bamboo. It, yeah. it looks like bamboo. It reminds me of one of those uh, Wiccan chairs, but like it's woven together. Yeah, right? But all the remotes on here, like this one, I think. What is this one for? That is for that fan up there. Oh, ceiling fan, television remote, which is great. Like there's uh, Netflix, Disney Plus, anything you kind of feel like doing in the evening. Once you're done hot tubbing, you can do. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the TV, yeah, it's just right over there. It's hooked onto an arm, so it can bend out towards different directions. So in fact, if you're sitting at the kitchen, you can even twist the TV right. to face you. Or if you sit on the couch, twist the TV to face you. We have our fan over there that we've been using. Two of those fans. The other one is up in our loft yep. bed. There's no AC in this place. It's been a couple of days where in uh, the late afternoon, which is where the only time when the sun actually hits any of our windows, then it can feel kind of hot then. Mm -hmm. But because it's already like five, six, seven o'clock, the sun's already on its way down. This house is great for getting a, a beautiful crosswind in that there's so many windows, as you can see, we have these windows back here open. There's windows over there open. There's windows over there. There's a, a skylight window that we opened up there. So there's always a great amount, especially being close to the sea, always a great amount of wind coming through. Mm. So as long as you keep that up, I mean, we've been able to keep this entire place very cool and very naturally, which is a big plus. This place comes with an Alexa. They have a little uh, Amazon Echo Alexa that you can use if you would like. And a little alarm clock, and there's plenty of charging stations in the alarm clock radio system. It has a USB like charging port. There are also plug sockets conveniently everywhere around us. So we did nice. bring one extension cable of our own, and I'm really glad we did that because the one place where I don't think there is a plug socket is upstairs in the loft bed area. So uh, you can't charge things up there uh, at night or have a fan up there at night unless you bring with you an extension cable, I would recommend. Over there, of course, we also have a basket, a wicker basket that's full of uh, linens, extra bedding, specifically for the futon. Mm. So let's show them what the futon looks like. What, as a bed? As a bed. Do -do 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 That there is the futon bed. Comfy, firm, perfect for a guest if they're coming to stay the night, but it's not as cool as our bed area. So let's say we go check out the loft. Hello. We are up in the loft and this is such a cute space to hang out. As you can see, we wouldn't really be able to stand up. The skylight and the ceiling are pretty low, but we have a, some storage space back here. Like there's enough space to put suitcases if you want to bring your things up here with you. The bed itself is very comfortable. It's a firm-ish mattress. There's plenty of space up here though. Like say there were several people staying here. There's like a rail to hang clothes on. There's another like wicker basket table side shelf. Right. We've got some notebooks. We got some, some pajamas, you know, pajamas uh, glasses. You know, it's very simple, very nice to use. Some lights over here that we can turn on and off. Along this wall here, you've got some mirrors, which, ooh, <laughs> it's nice to have the mirrors. So yeah, it's a fun little space. For anyone who's concerned about rolling out of the bed off the loft and falling to your 
not death, but probably a bo broken bone. You definitely have these railings up here uh, to keep things safe, to keep you safe. As you can see, we have our skylight up there, which is very nice to have. This is we're kind of midday, and which is why the light is now coming through. But first thing in the morning, the light's not really on your face. It's much more, um, you can just see the blue and it feels like chill and hazy. And oh gosh, this is such a fun place to just feel like nobody in the world could ever find you. It's so private and cozy. Cozy little hideaway. Hey, hey, hey. So I realized we completely forgot to do an outro to our video. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really hope you enjoyed it. We really enjoyed making it. We're really enjoying being in Long Beach, the hot, the hot tub. tub. But blessings aside, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you would like to see our next stop, which is... Da -da 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 Vegas! How long is this gonna go on for? I'm just know. gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm so excited to do Vegas. I'm so excited to do Vegas with you. I'm so excited to do Vegas with you. If you wanna come along and watch our videos, check out our Airbnb, check out the $20 day and the ultimate date that we're gonna do in each location and all of our food tourist videos too on our other channel. I'm excited that you're here. So please do like, comment and subscribe. I know it's weird when we ask for comments because it's like, what am I supposed to say? So uh, here's a suggestion for comments. I'd love it if you've had a funny Airbnb experience, like as a guest or as a host, I would love for you to share it. It's as embarrassing and as like, oh my God, I definitely shouldn't tell other people this story as you can possibly bear to share. I would love to hear it. Those are the things that make me feel like I really connect with people so like this video subscribe to our channel and comment your weirdest airbnb experience ever good or bad I guess we'll see you next time on another episode of the castle valdez i don't really know what this is called yet you've got to get back to making this film if you want to see our first short film that's also somewhere else on the channel link maybe there some kind of Link. linky things we make short films we make vlogs and we eat food and if there's anything else to do with life i haven't figured it out yet <laughs>